Yeah. This, this yeah. would indicate to me that we're getting close to eyeball right now. We're getting close to a lot of cool <laughs> I guess people are waiting an hour and a half. Really? The game right now. And everybody, when they get there, is playing through the whole demo. Really? So, nice. you know, for us as a team, it's just it's validation. It's and you know, all the the hard work that we we put in over the last you know six weeks on this just on this demo. Ah, um, oh, dude. Ah. Oh. <laughs> See, Kratos actually got soaked in blood there, too. That's a new thing that we have now. You can get covered in blood. I'm glad that's an HD now. The detail is amazing. <laughs> so now he's got, he's got Helios. And he's, he needs something from him. And that's latest. That's Kratos' latest uh, power up. Acquire Helios' head. <laughs> so the idea here is that uh, there's a couple ways you can use it. He, Helios has the eyes of a god. So when Kratos squeezes on his head, uh -huh. he will see things that Helios can see. So the he can paint out secrets in the environment. The controller will begin to rumble when he gets closer to a secret, uh -huh. and then he can start looking for it by using the head. Now the other thing the head's really good for is when we get to these areas of the game where the lights go out, we can use it as a headlight. <laughs> headlight, nice. <Yeah. laughs> what is, so another journalist came up with that after our press event in February and it just stuck. <laughs> Fantastic. So you're actually gonna carry around a dismember head for the rest of the game. Yep. I like that. And in your satchel. And another nice thing too is you can blind enemies and see how they react there. And yeah. they get stunned for a second, you can bring your weapon out and they actually retain the glow for a bit of time and uh, take care of them. That's awesome. That's great. So we can definitely expect to gain more of these items throughout the game. Yeah, absolutely. Kratos is known for uh, collecting as he goes with these different powers. This is a pretty, pretty awesome power to get early on. So let me be clear though, this isn't uh, the beginning. I think we talked about this. We talked, this, this is a little bit into the game. This isn't the very beginning, yeah. So uh, here's a, another one of our new gameplay sequences, the Icarus Ascension, what we're tentatively calling it. The idea is that there's all these, in Mount Olympus, there's all these tunnels and, and channels, kind of like a, a like a vertical like chimney or, or like a vertical sewer or something like that. These, these uh, that Kratos can travel through. There's these vents of air currents that they're, imagine that like there's maybe some hot lava pockets in in, in Mount Olympus that actually create these heat currents. Right. And he can quick travel to different parts of the mountain using this. But it's just like everything else, it's not easy. Oh, there he goes, he hit the wall once. There was an example of not easy. Exactly. And it looks it's like... It's that you don't hit, get hit once and then you have to, you, you know, you start all the way back at the bottom. Yeah. How many chances do you have to get through this before? Unlimited. Oh, it's really? based on health. So we don't have checkpoints in it. And it looks like you guys have done this part before because that was pretty impressive. Yeah. Nice. That's it. Nice. We got through the whole thing. Awesome. I'm glad we got through it. We were we were kind of stressed there in the beginning because yeah. it was a bit long, but it was good fantastic. Yeah, nicely done, sir. Run. Thanks a lot for joining yeah. us. That was an epic demo. Thank you so cool. much. Thanks, so um, I actually am going to use this line because it's totally applicable. Uh, it looks epic indeed. Stick around fans, we're going to end day two with a bang. Keep it here.